Let me show you how WP Like can make your WordPress site more engaging. Right now, it's a lifetime deal and you want to definitely check it out. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the WordPress plugin and it's called You Like. It's going to add a like and dislike feature to your post. And it's also going to add it, if you want to, into the comments. That way, people can give love or hate when someone is commenting something good or bad. All right. Now, let me give you a quick example of how it shows. Here's a quick post of a demo site. And you can see here on this post, there's a like and dislike feature where I can actually vote. Same thing goes when someone comments. I can actually upvote or downvote. And this feature can actually be changed to change the look of this like and dislike super easily. And you're going to get a ton of analytics to see how your posts are actually performing via this feature, making your website more engaging and people coming back to vote or downvote comments. That is really a great feature that social media has, and that's going to be available to you on the WordPress site. Now, before I show you how it works, let me show you the sponsor for this video. Today's video is sponsored by Breakdance, a straightforward and effective visual builder for WordPress. It's user-friendly for beginners and meets the needs of experienced professionals. With features like pre-made template library, form builder, AI content tools, pop-up builder, and WooCommerce integration, Breakdance has you covered. Whether you're new to WordPress or a pro looking for a reliable builder for your agency, now's a great time to consider Breakdance. Try it and see how it fits your needs. That link we provided in the description, so go check them out right now. Okay, let's jump into the back end of our WordPress side. This is a demo site where I have you like installed. And the first thing I want to show you is the statistics. That way we're actually going to know how our posts are performing. So it's not just about being engaging, but also knowing how we're performing. So in this case, we know the overall performance, daily interactions, the user role engagement. In this case, I'm the admin just testing this out and the guest, the engagement statistics for posts. So the overall view here and the independent posts over here. So on the bottom, we're able to view the top posts, we're able to see how they're performing, what the likes they're getting, the dislikes for the top comments, for the top activities, for top topics, and the top engagers. So you have all those details available here, aside from just being engaging on your website. So that makes it really interesting, all right? So in terms of configuration, so the first thing I wanna show you is the content type. And this is where we're going to be able to change the look of our like and dislike feature. So for example, this is the one that's available right now. So that's the one installed here and we're able to view it. But let's just say that, I mean, I'm a hard guy. Maybe I want to have a like and dislike. Maybe it's a dating app and I don't know, you want to have this type of feature. Or maybe it's a like and dislike with thumbs up, maybe some hearts with a band there. The feature like you would see on Facebook, you got your hearts. So there's several features available here. In this case, let me go ahead and test this one out really quickly. I'm going to save it and it's going to automatically update it here on my live site. But that's how easy it is. Check this out. I now have a different look for my like and dislike here on the post. Now, this is the post section. So these are the settings for that, all right? So automatic display, is it going to be available on the top of the content, on the bottom, or top and bottom? So we have these available three options to select from. Then automatic display restrictions. So don't display it on the home page and don't display it on singular. And where do we do want it? On post and pages. Display counter value condition. So visible or hidden, depends up to you how you want to uh, do that hide the zero counter box, and you have several available options here, including the Likers model template that you can modify here with the allowed variables, right? There's size gravatars if you want to make it smaller or bigger, just in case you don't like this one, maybe it's too big, depending on the content that you have, you can change that. The likes counter and a whole lot more data there. And same thing goes with the comments. You also have the available options here to change the look of these. So let me go ahead and update it right now. Let me go ahead and refresh it. And this is the current one, and now it's a different one. See here, we have a different look for our comments, like and dislike. So it's just super easy to update these and implement it on your website. So you have available options here. So again, top of the content, bottom of the content, top and bottom, which I would think is too much top and bottom because it's in the comment section. So it's up to you how you want to display that. And again, the rest of the settings for these. And if you have BuddyPress installed or BBPress, it does integrate with it and you have get options for that too, all right? So that's just the quick integration for that. In general settings, you'll have settings, for example, if you wanna add something in the prefix or surfix. So for example, in the like, I'll just say test, just to show you what it can do. Let me go ahead and save it. And here, over here, it's going to add, or over here, it's going to add that text. So you can see here, test. 
So it's up to you if you want to use that. Here's a prefix and a surfix. If you want to add something interesting that makes it pop out or maybe it has to do with your site, like I said, maybe it's a dating app, maybe it's a sales site, wherever. It depends. You can add something there if you want, right? You can enable notifications, disable toast types, and just several options available from you like. Then we got our integrations. So depending if you have this available, you'll integrate it. You got your profile data that you can add here. You got your login and sign up. Now this, I would say, is like an additional feature that you like has. It's not like their main feature, but it's available here. And what it does, it creates a login page where it actually has more features than the standard login page that you would with that you get with the default WordPress site. So for example, here's a page that was created. Let's go ahead and preview this. Let's go ahead and jump into incognito mode. And this is the login page. So it's way nicer than what you're going to get default with WordPress. And it's, you get that option. And you also get social login. That is included in this lifetime deal. So do consider it. Again, that's going to be included. And it's a great option to have. So you got your select login page. You go ahead and create it. Select which one it's going to be. Or redirect URL when login. Redirect when it's log out. It's just features that you're going to get extra with this plugin, aside from the like and dislike options, okay? You got your social logins. You can decide what you want to display or not. You got Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, Slack, and I think that's about it. Let me see. Oh, there's way more here. And you do need to set these up one by one. So Facebook, you'll need your credentials for that to actually display. But you get these options with this plugin. So you don't need an additional plugin to enhance your login page. You're going to have it available here on this plugin, all right? You got share buttons, so on the single post and how you want to display it here. You got your translations. If you want to completely translate this, this is what you got right now. And you can just go ahead and translate it here and it'll update over there. Whatever you want to type in, this what's going to get updated over there. Developer tools, you get custom CSS, you get custom spinner, enable inline CSS, PHP snippets, JavaScript snippets, and you'll get all that available there. REST API, if you want to enable this, you will have it available. And optimization settings. You get all of that with this plugin with statistics alongside with that. So remember, you will get a statistic so you can see how their, their posts are actually performing, the comments, and who are your top commenters, and all that will be available, available on this plugin that's on a lifetime deal right now. So you definitely want to check it out right now. And don't forget about our sponsor, which is Breakdance. Don't forget that link we provided in the description too. And that's a wrap.